And here's the Tone X copy. The actual pedal. So, it's pretty, pretty much about, about close. Um, now, that one I didn't get to model with the longer process. I did the medium process. So, there's three different process, what is it, processes, or I can't, um, hey, that ain't what I do. I play bass. Hey, don't do all that. Don't do all that. Um, it's three of them. So, you got this less quality, it takes less time, and... Highest quality takes the longest time, or best quality takes the longest amount of time. So the more quality, the longer the time it takes. So the shortest one I think was about 10 minutes, and the longer, the medium one was about 20, and the longer one was about an hour, okay? So depending on your time restraints, you know, that may be, you know, um, important. If you want the highest quality of something, you're going to have to take some time with it. You know, it's going to take an hour to get there. and But it'll be worth it. And you'll have it in a travel form that's the size smaller than your, you know, there's a the length of your thumb. Look at that. It's smaller than my hand. It's the length of, you know, same length as my thumb. And my, my, my it can fit in the palm of my hand. I can literally close it and you probably would barely be able to see it. It's the size of a Spectracomp or a the EHX um, Pico series pedals. Like they have the Deep Freeze. Um, I did a review on that lately, and I did the Spectracomp as well. And from TC Electronics, these all these little pedals are getting crazy. So now you don't have to worry about um, like having a huge pedal boy if all the time. Like you could literally have a bunch of small pedals and have just as much functionality. But um, let's talk about this one some more. So, of course, um, on, on the physical pedal, you have three knobs, um, three smaller knobs that are color quarter. You know, they, they change colors um, <laughs> and they light up. And then you have one big um, volume slash game knob, right? So, it's important that you learn these modes. If you're going to use this and... Um, this is something that I was very critical of Line 6 about was the difficulty in using their pedal, um, the Pod Express bass. This Tone X1 is, does have a learning curve, but the amount of stuff it can do and what it can do for the price it is, is ridiculous. It's also metal compared to the cheap plastic, you know. And it also... Um, like literally allows you to do a feature that can only be found on stuff that's usually a thousand dollars and up. 
You know, that's the one thing about the Tone X series. Even the, the big Tone X is about 400. So they they at 170, 180, this is a, a still. Like, you could buy two of these and have a stereo rig of amps. And, you know, and you still didn't break the bank. And it comes with the special edition Tone X software, which lets you download unlimited Tone Net um, um, presets or captures. As well as you can do make unlimited captures yourself, and you can make captures with cheaper mics. You don't have to buy expensive mics. You could, I did my captures with the line, Zoom L12 Live Track uh, mixer, and um, CAD D10 kick mic, and a CAD GXL 2200 condenser mic that was closer to the tweeter of whatever amp I was um, recording. And I used the kick the kick mic on closer to the edge of the speaker cones, usually to get that real heavy bottom, and get all the definition from the the tweeter and you know things like that. So you can experiment with different mic placement and how far they are from it. Um, the cabinet makes a huge difference. The further it is, the more room, more of the room you're going to hear in the IR. And the closer it is, the more of just the cabinet you're going to hear and the more bass you're going to get as well. Like I said, if you need a lot of booty on one mic, you can have the other one a little further away and have the mix so you can have as much highs or lows as you want like that. You know, that's a, a decent way to do it. Um, but this software allows you to do all of that. Allows you to do all of that stuff. Um, something that, you know... The other companies, they they kill. I K I K Multimedia is killing right now. They they smashing with this one. So that was the the Eden. Here's my Gensler Magellan preamp and um, the Fender Bassman 115 with a tweeter. Neo. That was actually just the cabinet, but here's the preamp and the cabinet. And the killing thing about this software is um, it uh, when it models the amp and the head, I mean the head and the cabinet, it, it models them separately, which is crazy. So it picks out what the head um, tone is and what the cabinet tone, it separates them. So you get an IR for the cabinet and a model for the head at the same time, which is crazy. That's just bananas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.